and trim right across the top of the back. And what I do that for is most, most of your elk carriers and stuff will not lay flat. If you have a stiff hackle there, it'll push it up. And I want it to lay flat along the back of this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it on top flat so that it'll lay down. And at this point, I'm gonna take another small bunch of this elk hair and we'll clean it out. Get that all stacked in there okay. If you're tying these very big at all, you'll need to make sure that you start with fairly long elk here. Because when I lay this wing on, I want to come from where I tie it in to the end of the tail. And this is, uh, this is getting really close to pushing the limits here. And then I would like to trim it up so I don't have a bunch of trimming after I tie it in and get it fairly close to where I want to tie it. And we'll lay that right in on the top. Soft loop. Cinch it down good. And just walk forward, cinching it, get all those butt ends tied down. And then we can walk right back, little loose wraps up towards the top. Cinch it down there really good. And then we'll trim all this stuff off of here. All right. <clears throat> then I have two more of the brown hackles, and I'm going to take both of these, tie them both in at the same time, and trim these ends. The cleanest of spot to tie them in there with. We'll lay those in right alongside of the, the hook. Secure the butts down well. Okay. I'm going to come up to about midway here. I'm about, I'll oh, say a little over an eighth of an inch or so. Maybe a little further than that. Maybe I split the difference of a quarter of an inch there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie in a couple of rubber legs. And here again, I'm going to lay them right across the thread. I'm going to grab them, bring them right up alongside the hook. Make a couple of turns. 